this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 with the Rude Man. We picked up a, um, a quest from this board here. And we're going to try to find this guy's missing brother, I guess. Roach, you ready for a trip? Uh oh. What was that all about? Let's take a little ride, Roach. Hey, yeah. Okay, you can run over the geese, but don't run over the people. Good boy. Getting close, Roach. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do we got here? Let's go. Well, there's something under the bridge, looks like. Well, let's go take a look. Loot, maybe? What's that? There's something there. Did I jump off the wrong side of the bridge? Darn it. I think I did. Ah, we have some loot. Lots of it. this stuff to good use. Can I get back out of here? All right, how do I get back out? There we go. Come on, Roach. On we go. Now wait a minute. Did I get turned around? What happened here? Well, somehow I got turned around. Huh. Move it! Don't trust the GPS, Roach. Don't trust it. Take it easy. Let's go! Well, it looks like we've got some kind of burned out village here. Run, Roach. Some guy talking to his dog up there. Whoa! Help me! Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See? So Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too 
damn a theory he was. Bloody hell. Did you walk the battlefield? I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. God, he looks Listen, like he's had some battles. Guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. All right. Fine. I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Alright, meet you there. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell's down there? Can I get down there without getting hurt? Maybe. Oh, we got some drowners down here. Oh, crap. I should have waited till they were around. Well, what now, what? You piece of filth. fire didn't scare him off, but it didn't make him feel very good. All right, let's see what we got for this. Hard-fought battle. All kinds of loot, huh? Was it worth it, though? That's the question. All right, I got to get back out of here. How'd you get over there? Would you swim? Hey, uh. This is Roach the Wonder Horse. Alright, this looks like the battlefield. Where's the guy and his dog? There he is. You're here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many of soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on! The sooner we get this done, the better. Well, he's probably right about that. The dog will probably find the sense of the scent of his master. So we're looking for shields. So many corpses. And the war's just started. Alright, don't think badly of me, but uh, you know, looting dead bodies. Their stuff's just going to waste. I can make use of it and protect people. 
All right, we got some baddies out here. All right, there's a shield. No flower. Is there a flower? There is a flower on that. That him? No. Doesn't look like anything like him. All right, there's another shield. Come on, Hassan. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. Okay, there's another shield over here. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh yeah. Oh, look. Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but uh, maybe it's the fire did that. All right, you try to get yourself killed. He found him. The sars caught. He sent. Come on. Like the dog got a scent. Okay, dog's got a scent. Let's go. I don't see any footprints. There they are. Are those the dog's footprints or the people footprints? Oh, there's a shack here. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Blast the bolts, landing all around, and all he could say was. A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now, shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side, and then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as, as he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted, and so we were. Blind man, leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blackened stays here. Oh, man, this is a hard call, but he's right. If they take him in, they're, they're going to be in trouble. Your brother's right, Bastion. Nilfgaardians know no mercy. They live by their law. A law that's cruel as hell towards any who hide deserters. Or aid them. Rosin, I'll bring you food. And an herbalist. You'll see. In a week or two, you just go. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. Yeah, a hard call, but he was right. You know, they'd have killed them all. Alright, see ya, dog. Hey, Roach. I think I'm going to head back into town. Uh, I don't want to go back into the battlefield. <clears throat> I 
All right, we're gonna head back into town. So I think this is the road Let's here. Let's go. Oh look, there's a Run, Roach. there's a road sign. All right, we got to go to the garrison, which is down this road, I think. But there's a blacksmith here. Maybe I will sharpen my swords while I'm here before I go. Man, the blacksmith's kind of pissed. I wonder what he's mad about. Oh, hell, look at his house. Uh oh. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything. Okay, now I could say don't insult me, but he gets called a freak. Witchers get called everything in the book. They they can take it. They don't respond to crap like that. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to surface their garrison. Bang dents out of plate. Shoe horses. That sort of thing. Elf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. All right, maybe I can help you. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Cat eyes, is it? All right. Well, let's put our cat eyes to use. See if we can find anything out here. Besides these bushes. Pick some of this stuff so I can make some potions. Aha! There's some footprints. What do we have here? Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Alright. Pardon me while I pick some berries. Follow these prints. Ah, another clue. Some kind of bottle? Stinks of piss and vodka. Well, doesn't vodka stink like piss? I think it tastes like it, but then that's just my opinion. Where is he leading us? Well, um... Well, um... Well, um, yourself. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Huh, you think he's that smart? I thought he was drunk. That pissed his pants or something. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. What? Well, quit eating them then. 
Ah, what have we here? Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Drowners, huh? Lost his boots in the rush. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Alright, so we're looking for somebody that's uh, got a wound. Tracks lead back to the village. Alright, let's follow them in. My grand told me about Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nagged a witch thing that was hunting nearby. Started poking him off. And he started McGear. twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner that had sucked on the key. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? Take off the trouble. sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. Ah, here we go. In here. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. I hear something back in here. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? No, you're not. Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Why didn't you use your tools to make a living? But no chance, you're coming with me. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Really? Try me, peasant. I could use the practice. I give up. Damn it. You broke my nose. But not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mom for years. Charged the nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey. Soldier, a minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. D didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was supported to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. What? Just a tree. Oh my god, they're gonna hang him for that. That seems kind of harsh. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And... I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Well, the villagers aren't going to like him now. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? I want to sell you some of the junk I've been picking up. I'd like you to forge something for me. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want anything forged. I want... Uh... I want to uh, sell you something. Oh, I thought I was picking stuff up. Well, never mind then, I guess. 
I thought I picked up some loot, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't anything, I guess. He doesn't want any of that junk, so... Alright, I guess that's all I need. Thank you. So long. Okay, alright. Yeah, you said that before. Quit eating the plums. Hey, Roach is just hanging around waiting for me. Good boy. Looking for trouble. Ooh. Sorry. Look out. Get out of my way. Alright, where are we heading? Roach, you got your map out? We're heading up this way, so um, we'll just take this road. Uh, okay, turn around, go straight down the road, take the right, and then straight up. All right, gotcha. Go this way. Don't don't trust the GPS, and don't run over people, Roach. Come on. This is the road to Vizim. Kings do the fighting. That way. Here we go. Now wait a minute. This doesn't look like the main road. It's not. We didn't go far enough this way. All right, this isn't the main road either. Go, go. Don't run over the deer. Although it'd be good eating, wouldn't it? All right, this is the main road, I think. Work crew of some kind. Whoa, Master Witcher. What do you want? A merchant. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afeard to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Hmm. All right. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. I'm a little... wondering about his story, though. I don't see merchants usually carrying bow and arrows. That's kind of weird. All right, let's see what this guy's got to... Precious cargo. Okay, wait a minute. Use Witcher's senses to find where the cart left the road. All right, I can do that. So he said right up at the swamp, didn't he? Okay, here we go. Cart tracks. Rode off into the swamp. All right. Now we're supposed to find a little box. Why of all the stuff, if he's a merchant, would he be worried about a little box?
kind of barrel. We've got baddies out here too. What's that? What is this? Oh, it's a beehive. I, I, oh, jeez. I meant stung by bees. Uh-oh, we got bad guys out here. Looks like more drowners. Here we go. Here's the cart. All right, we got uh, company out here. There's a dead body over here. I guess I gotta go to them, huh? Alright, let's go check that body. Where did I see it? Right here? It's gonna it's not gonna let me. Not gonna let me. Alright, fine. Let's see what else we got here. We got loot we can pick up. What do you say some little what's that arrow? Carts riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. Yeah, no kidding. What? Arrows? see a little what's that a barrel okay that's not what we're looking for what's this a strong box must be that box he mentioned splattered with blood human blood all right so there's something suspicious about this cart though now it's gonna let me look at the body square in the neck good shot Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Yeah, I'll bet on the lion. Let's go have a little chat with this guy. Oh, and you find the box? Yeah, kind of saw through your lies, though. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart which is pounding like a liar's best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar oh god here we go all right roach we gotta tra track this guy down where's my horse there you are let's go catch this guy Yeah, no kidding. Hey, his eyes open, didn't he? Wake up. See, can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why do you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gilmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. 
and the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. Well, I'm not in the middle of this. Uh, I don't owe anything to the Nilfgaardians, and I don't owe anything to these guys, but if he's telling the truth now... Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltes' memory. Guy had a magic horse. Where's mine? Hey, Roach. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you know, I don't have anything to do with this war. And I. If he's telling the truth about the soldiers, I, I have no use for the medicine. And I don't owe any allegiance to either side that I know of. So, Roach, we're back on the road for lilac and gooseberries. Let's see if we can find anything more about, uh, about our missing sorceress. Heard of the fly head today? See if we can find out anything here from these soldiers. Barbarians. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about me? I told you these guys—they don't treat witchers very well. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. Got that right. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. <laughs> to the tower. Go. Right. I should have answered the other way. Oh well, it got the same uh, response, I'm pretty sure. The other way might have been a little bit more satisfying, though. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, well, it seems you, fair. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. <laughs> Can't argue with your logic. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Really? Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Oh. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Comes down to that. Should have known. Why do you care about a griffin? Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. 
including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a battle. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle. No, too high a risk. Hmm. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. Well, I guess that'd be a witcher then, wouldn't it? It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Well, let's see. I gotta gather some uh, herbs, I guess. I could use more information about the griffin, though. Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. A little strange? Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, I need some supplies, too. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. Well, that was kind of rude. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. All right. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Okay. Well, obviously he doesn't like these uh, these soldiers or these Nilf Nilf guardians for whatever reason. Uh, they seem to be the enemy. They're conquering some place that doesn't belong to them. But we've got to go find a hunter and an herbalist for some help. You guys are leaving some uh, perfectly good uh, weeds hanging around. <laughs> 